Let's end this module by talking about bank accounts and international payments. As I've mentioned many times already, every business entity must have a bank account. It's as simple as that. It's a legality and from an organization point of view, it's a must. All transactions should originate from this account. When you run things this way, the bank account then forms the basis of how you're going to account for your business. In other words, the bank account records all money in and all money that goes out. You may need to use your bank account to do international payments as well. After all, you need to be able to pay your suppliers from somewhere, right? Well, many bank accounts can make these payments. Generally speaking, you'll pay suppliers in US dollars. Now, some bank accounts will complete this process efficiently, but some may charge significant fees to do this. Therefore, in many cases, a third party provider is more efficient and can certainly be more cost effective. The companies that I recommend for sending these international payments are World First and Payoneer. The great thing about these international payments accounts are that they're free to open, maintain and close. And your World First account can be used when trading on Amazon for currency exchange. In other words, if your bank account is a sterling bank account in the UK, but Amazon are paying you Euro from your German sales, well, you can have Amazon send that Euro payment to your world first euro account and complete the exchange back to sterling here. This will save you money as Amazon charge more than their currency exchange than world first. Let's give you more clarity on exactly what world first do. First off, they offer two different separate services. The first one is international payments. This is what we're talking about when sending payments to your suppliers. The second service is what they call their currency exchange services. It relates to what we just mentioned a moment ago when you're actually trading on Amazon and want to exchange currency from, say, Euro back to Sterling. I'll go into this in more detail a little later in the program. I'll give you a picture of how World First actually operates. First off, the money originates in your domestic account. This can be money you put in to start your business or in time revenue from Amazon. You'll let World First know how much you wish to send to your supplier in, say, US dollars. World First will then respond and tell you how much that will cost in your own currency. Then accept that quote and pay the amount. Once you do that, World First will pay the corresponding dollar amount over to your supplier. It's as simple as that. You can go to their site by clicking the link below this video to find out even more. Basically, you'll use World First to exchange or send payments to your supplier's account. You can even use this to send US dollars to US dollars as well. I mentioned it's free to open, maintain and close, so there's no risk at all, only savings. I recommend using World First for all your international payments as it keeps things very simple for you and I believe that keeping things simple is really important to our and your success.